Is it like a modern style? Yeah, right here. Similar to what we use today? Same. Oh, great. This is a 13. 1910 for the yellow. Oh, when I restored it, I, I didn't get the car going to quite right yet. And if I don't turn the gas off, then I'll make sure the car goes. This is a coil box. Uh, builds the power for the spark plugs. Oh wow. One for each cylinder. This is the ignition switch. You'd have a dry cell battery to start it. You'd pull it over here to start it. Because you get current out of the dry cell. And once it's running, you'd put it over on magneto. And it would generate its own power once it was running on magneto. So that's separate from the 
crank start? And no, the, it's, well, it's part of it. Or is that the switch you turned it, on when you cranked it? It's the switch I turned oh, on. Okay. I pulled it over here and then went up and cranked and it was running and all. Then I came back on that side and reached through and pulled it over. To magneto so it would Yeah, so I don't run the battery down too much because uh, it doesn't generate. Uh, so I don't run the battery down and let it run on the magneto. The gas throttle up here. Yeah. The gears down here. How many speeds? Two speeds forward and a reverse. Emergency brake? Yes, and that hold it in. That's timing or spark up there. Oh. I mean, just the timing when it's firing. Emergency brake is also holding that in neutral because when I'm standing out front cranking it, I'm being a little bit facetious, but I don't want it to start and run over me. Yeah. So that holds it in the neutral uh, in that position. Right. Go ahead. If you like. Oh, cool. Amazing. Um, what's this little um, gate here? Oh, that's just a clamp on luggage carry. Oh, okay. Put your picnic basket in there. You can put a suitcase standard in there or anything. Just right on the yeah, little that, running board and there. These things are like C clamps that hold it on. Okay. So you scrunch it tight? And... Yeah, well, according to length, I could, if it wasn't for the running board bracket, I could bring it clear down to there. Mm -hmm. Or I could clamp it on the step, but I left the step open for getting in and out. Right. Oh, the seat in the back. Oh, my God. Uh, that, the idea of that seat was for a chaperone. A chaperone to ride in because in 1909 it was improper for on marriage to be out on chaperone. So the chaperone would ride back here and the couple would ride up front. Wow. You put a robe rail on it here not a grab rail but a rope rail so you could have a lap robe so riding back here if your legs got cold or anything you could pull the robe up over you yeah you're exposed back here sweet and then this canopy comes off if you want well it'll fold down into this saddle i call it a saddle but it, this all folds back down into here and comes back here Okay, so you wouldn't want to be riding in that chaperone no, seat with that down. Me. That's not going to work. What is this? That adjusts the air fuel mixture, make it richer or leaner when you're running. Happy Ford. Happy Ford, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of like engine adjustments. Well, like you're going, well, like say pipe speak or something, and your air pressure. You uh, reach over and probably richen it up a bit to go up the hill. Wow. Did these drive up Pikes Peak? Good. Now, they don't have any pumps on them. Uh, gravity flow on the fuel, the carburetor's down here. And like I say, gravity flow. And you heard the story about black. Well, you probably heard the story about backing up the hill for more power. Not mm. quite true. But if I'm going up a pretty steep hill and I'm not fairly full of gas. I'm liable not to flow gas from the gas tank here up to the carburetor going up too high. Oh. If I turn around, I can back uphill because this then becomes higher than the carburetor and lets me go up the hill. Makes sense. It had nothing to do with the power on it. Yeah, just keeping the gas flowing. Well, how would you Oh, wow. It was thermal siphon on cooling. Hot water going through the engine rises. It comes into the radiator back here. Theoretically cools as it drops through the radiator and then back out the bottom, but you don't need a water pump. It keeps it going. Wow. Gravity. Yeah. Uh, and with the oil pump, it's a splash type of uh, lubricant, kind of like a motorcycle. Okay. It's, uh, lubricating the transmission at the same time. Man. Engineering. It would be great to build a story around these for San Diego. And Lenny over at the Auto Museum said he'd like to Outstanding. So anything, um, well, we have a bigger version here. Well, this is what would be called a um, touring car. You'd take the family out. 
Yeah. This car is what would be called a southern car. So this is the wide. This is four inches wider yeah, so I got that. I got that than any of these other <laughs> northern cars. The fenders. Yeah. fenders are wider. What's the difference from why northern and southern? Well, we was talking to somebody similar to you yesterday, I think it was. They Googled it. Okay. So I'm letting you know my source. And sure. the Google said that the well, buggies were wider, the ruts in the road in the south were wider. Oh, okay. So they made the car to track in the ruts in the road. Unbelievable. And that's why. And that's you can tell great. you're looking at a car, a northern car, you'll see the fender come right down to the running board and extend out. The southern car, it comes down, comes into the running board and proceeds out. And this is wider here than this one up here. Uh -huh. Two inches wider, actually. Nice. Good. Beautiful. What about this 22? You got a work truck here. Yeah, it's just a 22 TT. TT? Uh, Ford, oh, up until the mid 30s, actually, I guess. If it was a truck, he doubled the number. Or the letter, I'm sorry, the letter. Sure. You had a TT. You didn't have a model TT. You had an AA. You didn't have a model A truck. Now. Nice. But uh, like you said, it was just a work truck. It's a heavier frame, a little heavier frame and differential. It's got a worm drive drive shaft in the back where the others a pinion drive. Okay. Now that's the main difference. Nice deck here with the sides. Is this all like original or? Yes. How it would be just how rebuilt it would have been. with new wood probably. Oh, that stairs. Is this they modern just, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. If I don't want them uh, like in a parade or something for anybody riding, I can just unhook and take them off. Yeah. Horseless carriage. Yeah. Unreal. If the vehicle was originally registered before 1923, you could get horseless carriage. If it was 23 or newer, you had to go to historical. No. Or, regular. or regular. Okay. We have a 15 car, like that blue one really we're restoring, it's northern, but uh, mm -hmm. it has regular license plates on it. I like the horseless carriage. I do too. Man, these wheels are gorgeous. The guy that we got that 15 from, he used to peruse the paper on wedding announcements, then contact the people to see if they wanted a ride to their wedding in it, and used it that way a lot. This? Uh, no, the one we're restoring. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, he was quite a gentleman. He had taken it from San C to Prudhoe Bay and back, driving it, not trailering it. From where to where? I don't recognize from, you, those two. Are you San Diego? No, I'm okay. from Wisconsin. Santee is a community about 15 miles east of here, 20 miles east. Okay. Uh, next door to El Cajon, if you've ever heard of El Cajon. But uh, anyway, in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, and driven it from there to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. Oh, wow. And back. Epic journey. Yeah. He and his wife, they were in their 80s at the time. Oh, that's awesome. Um... Is that fabric or? Yeah, this is fabric over uh, okay. wood bows. These are wood bows here. Beautiful. Well, thanks so much for the tour and all your knowledge. What's your name again? Al. Al, Al Fisher. Al Fisher. Nice job today. Thank you. Thank you. And have a great day. Good Fourth of July. You too. Lest we forget what it means. Right on. Happy 4th, Independence Day, Absolutely. 2021. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Yep.